I've just been reflecting on asking myself, what are you willing to do for something you love? And in the current situation, I, I'm, uh, I just found a, a great deal of blocks within me sort of releasing and regarding uh, this old growth forest protection at Ferry Creek. And I was involved in it for a little bit in the summertime and I, uh, I had a very different experience than I had when I was over at Sunshine Coast. It's like coming into someone else's camp is very different from setting up your own camp or sort of being part of the beginning or, or feeling part of the camp. So if you go up and you never feel part of the camp, you're sort of in your own camp. You're, you are in your own group, but now you're polarized from the main group. And that type of polarization with humans, usually there's a, it can become antagonistic in some way or judgmental. And if you have different philosophies and if you wanna run the camp differently, then you're gonna run into problems. Now you add in COVID and you add in uh, social distancing and you add in a lack of a sense of humor and uh, all of a sudden you have this divide and the divide pretty much stopped me in my tracks from participating. I was really set on it being the focus, main focus of my attention to bring a large body of work into the world that I've been working on for 25 years as a specific plan, specific idea, an operating system and a set of tools, something very comprehensive and something very uh, innovative. But my downfall has been bringing these tools to activist type events where the people involved don't want to get organized or have no one organize them. And they're generally working with few resources, limited uh, communication systems and not much sophistication. A lot of heart, but in a losing strategy because the injunction is always what they face and the injunction is where you lose. The Canadian government, the crown or whoever's behind all that legal jurisdiction bogusness their end game is always the injunction which some judge gives to the police and the police put you in jail and there's nothing you can do to fight it so basically they say we have the the right to protest but it's only if you protest here in this way and it actually isn't effective uh, they don't want us to have any true way to protect ourselves from their enforcement of colonial crown business that has been around since uh, they showed up. And now it's 2021. And while this COVID PSYOP is occurring in the background, once again, some of the prime real estate, the most priceless pieces of earth on the planet, supposedly owned by who? The whites? The First Nations? Is there a truth to ownership, really? If we look at that fundamental assumption and look at the difference between ownership and stewardship between the First Nations people and the whites and what is happening now, because it has been proven in the white courts that the First Nations people have claim of title and the whites can't keep going into their territory and stealing the resources and not giving the fair share to the original 
people. And this is something that is, you know, at the heart of BC politics, is at the heart of Canadian politics. This is at the heart of international politics because we are either running by law, true law, or not. We are either being ruled by thieves or everyone is under the same law. And you have to come back to that in any type of situation where there is a great polarity around the use of a community resource because these group space jurisdictions say that they have jurisdiction which means they can cut down the old growth forest trees and we the people of british columbia are now saying no nobody has the right to bring down the last remaining old growth forest trees everyone is in agreement about this the only thing happening is there is the momentum of the machinery behind the money being made. And that's the problem. And that's what has to stop. Stop making money, cutting down old growth forest trees as a law in British Columbia. And start there. But if you want to put these lockdowns happening and you want to start to freeze our economy and you want to screw us, well, that's going to change, my friend. I mean, we Canadians, we might be a little slow. We might be a, a little dumb. But when we catch on, we catch on. And guess what? We just caught on, okay? Do you hear that, Rev? I'm coming for you, Rev. I need a little bit of help out here, Rev. Jeez.